we get flowers, fruits and vegetables from farms. But from where do plants get nutrients to produce food? From where do plants get water to survive? Well, plants obtain water and nutrients from soil. Now what exactly is soil? Is it just the grainy substance covering the surface of earth? Well, yes and no. If we take a closer look at the grainy substance that covers the earth's surface, we find that it is made up of minerals, organic materials and rock particles. And not just that, there are multiple layers containing different materials. The topmost layer of soil is called the topsoil. Now this is where we plant seeds for plants to grow. Plants get minerals and organic matter or humus required for their growth from this layer. Below the topsoil is the subsoil. This part of the soil is a mixture of sand, silt and clay. Now this layer is rich in minerals. Only the roots of large plants can reach the subsoil. Now moving further down, we can see that the third layer consists of weathered rock material. This layer is devoid of any organic matter. And finally, we have the parent rock. This is also called bedrock, which is the parent rock from which soil is formed. So soil consists of minerals, water, humus and rock particles. But how did such diverse components come together to form soil? Soil formation starts with the weathering of rocks. Rocks exposed to temperature changes undergo expansion and contraction and start cracking over time. Rainwater enters these cracks and becomes ice when the temperature drops. The ice widens the cracks further. Sometimes the roots of plants also cause cracks in the rocks. Slowly over a period of time, the rocks break and disintegrate into many pieces. This process called weathering is the first step in soil formation. The rate of weathering is determined by climatic conditions of a given place. The weathered particles either remain there or are transported along slopes. Depending upon the relief or slope, the amount of weathered particles deposited changes. The slopes along a mountain will have thinner deposits as erosion is more on slopes while foothills or plains will have thicker deposits. Over time, more and more weathered particles accumulate, leading to an increase in the thickness of the soil that is formed. Plants and small organisms grow, mature, die and become part of this soil, adding to the humus content of the soil. Thus, Parent rocks, climate, relief or altitude or slope, flora and fauna and time are major factors in soil formation. If you like this video and want to watch many many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.